Hey guys, today I'm going to go over on how to back up Synology virtual machines. These are virtual machines that reside on the actual Synology hardware using the virtual machine manager package. Now normally this wouldn't be a big problem, but Synology has somehow managed to release a product without an easy way to back up the creative virtual machines. Today I'm not only going to share what problems I discovered, but also my solutions for the time being. I would prefer a more elegant way and hopefully Synology will add better backup support to their virtual machine manager, either through hyper backup or active backup. Now I'm going to set up a test virtual machine so we can explore all the options of backing up our virtual machines off the Synology hardware. I'm going to finish setting up our Windows 10 virtual machine by installing the Synology guest tool. This installs additional drivers for better performance and integrates our Synology hardware better with Windows 10. We can see from the Virtual Machine Manager that there is no way to actually schedule a backup. There are options to perform snapshots and create a protection plan. A protection plan is similar to a backup by allowing you to create a schedule snapshot and a retention policy. It doesn't, however, allow us to do this to USB storage or cloud targets. That means our virtual machines are stuck in the Synology server. Synology does offer a protection plan with remote replication, but that requires Virtual Machine Manager Pro licensing and an additional Synology server. Now, at this point, you may be thinking, why is this so difficult as Synology provides easy and clear methods to manage their servers? That's the reason most of us buy these devices instead of their competitors. And initially, I, I thought the same thing. It, it must be here. They have two backup programs and neither of them can back up the built-in virtual machines. I know it doesn't sound right. Well, I checked and rechecked in both Hyper Backup and Active Backup, and there is no easy method for scheduled VM backups in either program. I did, however, find a few solutions or workarounds to get our VMs off the Synology hardware. First and easiest way to back up the VM is to use the export function from the Virtual Machine Manager. Once we export it to a folder, we can easily back it up in Hyper Backup, either to USB or cloud storage. Once exported and backed up, I can safely delete my VM, restore it to a folder, and import back in. This will save me from a catastrophic drive failure. Local snapshots and protection plans will not. The only drawback to this is that exports cannot be scheduled, but for some requirements, this might be a good enough solution. Active Backup provides a way to back up virtual machines, but unfortunately, this is only for Hyper-V and VMware. Strange that Synology provides a backup method for competing technologies, but not their own. If we look carefully though, Active Backup does provide a way to back up physical PCs with the bare metal backup option. This is intended as a method to back up physical PCs, but the same method can work for virtual machines. We need to install the bare metal client app and perform a backup. We also need to create a recovery media. In our case, it will be an ISO that we can select as the startup media from the VM manager. The active backup is still on the Synology hardware, so let's go ahead and use Hyper Backup to back up the contents of the active backup data folder. Again, this allows us to back up to USB storage or cloud. So now let's delete the VM and use the recovery media to boot up and restore our backup from active backup. So this will work for my requirements. The VM backups can be scheduled with Active Backup and using Hyper Backup, we can back up to USB storage or the cloud. Another way to restore the VM from Active Backup is to use the virtual image located in the Active Backup data folder. This allows us to skip using the recovery media and create a working VM much faster. This method is a little risky and not a method that Synology would recommend. If anyone out there has a better method, please let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.